Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, we are going to see how to edit applicant image and signature based on OCS specification. Come, let's get into the video. Go to Google and type VFS Global and click first link that appears. This is VFS Global page. Here, you will find so many tabs. In that, click Visa, E-Visa and Permits tab. Here, you are going to select the country where you are applying from. I am going to select United States of America. Next, where you are going. I am selecting India. Then, click Take me to the website button. This is VFS Global Services page. Here, you will find many things like Home, Passport Services, OCA Services, etc. You have to click Value Added Services. Scroll down the page. Here you will find required standard for photograph. Click the link. You can take photograph in Walmart or CVS. Please make sure to get digital image of your photograph. They will charge additionally $6. If you are using your own camera, then you have to uh, follow these instructions. Like photograph size should be 2 cross 2 inches. Photo print should be clear. Top quality, full face, then full head. Photo should be taken in plain white background without any distractions, shadows on the background. Photograph should be taken in colored attire, for example, uh, blue color, shirt, etc. Uh, likewise, that attire should not be pattern textured or pure white in color. Now, do's and don'ts for a proper photo. There should not be distracting background, not centered background. The correct orientation is very important. Next, lightning on face and background. Like shadows in the background, the photo should be taken in the correct lighting. Then, photograph print property. We should not be distracting, not centered or um, torn. A correct orientation is very important. The image should be in a, a high resolution. Uh, then, color and contrast. You should look straight into the lens. Then, you should not have hair across your eyes. And your eyes should be wide open. Then you should not wear any mm, dark tinted glasses or uh, reflected glasses. And you should not cover your face. Your face should be fully visible. If you are taking a photograph of your kid, please make sure they stand at the center and they should not have any toys with them. And their mouth should be closed. As we have already discussed, these are the criteria to edit um, applicant's image and applicant signature. Now we are going to see uh, how to edit image and signature using Mac OS and Windows. In Mac preview software, uh, click markup. Under the menu, uh, select rectangular selection. Now we are going to crop the image. The aspect ratio for image is 1 is to 1. So I am going to select it like 599, 599 so that it will be in square. Once you are done with the selection, you can click um, crop button or command K to crop the image. Like I said before, the image should be in the format of JPEG or JPG. To change the format, uh, you can select File, Export. Here, you can change the file format. The file size for image and a signature together should be less than 500 KB. Now, I am going to reduce the file size to 18 KB. Then click save. Now, we have successfully uh, cropped the applicant image. Follow the same procedure to crop uh, signature as well. First, rotate the signature. Then, uh, click markup, rectangular selection and crop your signature. To crop the applicant signature, follow the same procedure as before. The height and width ratio for signature is 1 is to 3. 
so i am selecting uh, 500 over 1500 then uh, select a crop icon or click um, command k button to crop the image once it is done uh, change the file format to jpeg or jpg uh, like before and don't forget to uh, reduce the size so that um, size of the image as well as signature together should be less than 500 kb once it is done uh, click save button to save the image so far we have seen how to crop the applicant's image and signature using macbook preview now we are going to see uh, how to crop image using windows 10 paint 2d select canvas and then uh, click crop icon and then uh, select image that you need to crop the height and width ratio should be in the form of 1 is to 3 uh, like 500 over 1500 you can select height and width yourself then it is ok or else click crop icon and enter manually width as 1500 and height as 500 once it is done then the image will shrink automatically to the selected ratio. Please make note of your file reference number and temporary application ID. This will be helpful to you when you are going to complete partially filled application. Since we have applicant's image, applicant's signature image ready, you can straight away click yes I am ready with the image button. Then click choose file uh, to upload your images. Once you done it, you will get a message saying that applicant photo which you have selected is per instruction. If you want to crop, you can crop the image. Then you can click upload button. We have uh, successfully registered for part A and also uploaded applicant's photo and signature. Then you have to select any one of the following options. I am going to select I have uploaded successfully button. Hope you like this video. Let's meet in our next video. Until bye bye.